And believe it or not, I've had these in for three weeks and they actually look pretty good. I am going to fresh them today because I do want them to last me for another two weeks to finish out February. So we're just going to refresh them. I'm not going to wash them with actual soap and water. I'm actually going to be using apple cider vinegar and water. So just got a little tiny bottle of water here. You use a spray bottle, whatever is easier for you. And I have my apple cider vinegar here as well. I'm just going to put a little tiny, tiny, tiny tip inside of the water bottle. I'm, I'm going to try to pour a little tiny drop inside of this. I got a microfiber, an old microfiber cloth, and you can use a cotton pad instead, like a facial pad, but I don't have any of that. If it's not microfiber, it's going to end up snagging your hair and probably adding some breakage there, so that's why you want to use a microfiber. You can even use an old t-shirt or something like that. I'm just going to wet up the cloth. I'm going to do the edges of my hair first, make sure I get all of that edge control out. Right, and then you can just like wipe the strands of your hair as well and then now i'm going to refill my water bottle with freshly clean water without apple cider vinegar in there i'm going to rinse out my washcloth and i'm just going to go over my hair with water all right i wringed out my cloth with regular water and i'm just going to go through and wipe my hair again just to make sure i got all of the apple cider vinegar out My hair smells a lot better now that I did this. Like it actually doesn't have that old hair product smell in there anymore. So we are done with the cleaning process. We're done with the shampoo process. Now we're gonna focus on moisture. So for the moisture part of the refreshment, I'm going to be using, I think it's pronounced the dew. This is a little bit different than the original foam that they had. But the purpose of this is actually for moisture and curl enhancement. So I'm only going to be using this product. And for this to work best, it says for you not to use oil first. So after you use it, you can use oil, um, but not before. If you want it to work, it's best. All right, so I'm gonna shake it up. Mm, this actually smells this smells good. It smells like, I don't even know. It smells like a drink. Like it smells like some, a nice cocktail or something. But when you put the product on, whatever product you do use, if you're not gonna use this, whatever one you do use, make sure you're squishing it in so it actually saturates your natural hair. I'm gonna make sure I get, whoa. I just put that all over my forehead. But make sure you get everywhere. I'm trying to work quick before it starts to set because I want to make sure I get my head wrap on and everything. So try to move quickly. I'm not going to use Shine and Jam or any type of slicking gel because I don't want any buildup and I don't like how greasy that is. So my favorite all natural slicking product is actually shea butter or any type of hair butter or body butter that you have. I'm actually ran out of my homemade body butter. So I'm just gonna use the regular shea butter for now, but this is like an all natural slicking or edge control for me. It works very, very well. So I am legitimately just gonna use it like a regular looking product 
So look at how nicely it cleans everything up. So I add it on there and I'm just gonna twist it a little bit, maybe like two or three times. If you have the little clips, like the ones that you use when you get a retwist, that would be perfect. I don't have them with me. So we are just gonna have to make it do what it does. I'm gonna do that, not everywhere, just I'm gonna redefine this front row. All right, let's get this side. take a little bit and I am just going to smooth it down on my end. This is going to help not only with the flyaways but once again with sealing in that moisture. If you missed this video, I will link it above and down below. This is my dupe version of the Myel Hair Growth Serum because it's literally sold out everywhere still. Alright, so I am going to put my hair in a little ponytail. A low ponytail. And then I'm gonna cover my hair with a headscarf. <laughs> Guys, I wasn't filming this whole time. I was talking to y'all, I was talking to myself. But I took the headscarf off. This is how it looks. My hair is dry. I only had it on for about 30 minutes and I am doing my edges really quick. And then I'm gonna put the headscarf back on and come back. I just got good at my edges the other day. Like literally the other day. And I've had edges for how long? I just got good at them. that look and it only took us what maybe I don't know 15 minutes not counting the drying time <laughs> I think my hair looked better this time than it did when I first did it hey, look at that it looks so nice it's moisturized it's flat there's no flyaways everything looking good I just got these braids done. Now these braids are definitely good to go for another two weeks for sure. Well, that is all folks. I am done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, give me a thumbs up and follow for more of my content and I'll see you in the next one.